In this video, I'm going to show you the Track Inspector or the One Channel Mixer in Reaper. Now, I've always called this the One Channel Mixer, but I've also heard it called the Track Inspector. It doesn't really matter what we call it, it's just a layout so we can see more things at one time and also get a nice big fader, one track at a time. So, normally by default, Reaper looks like this with our track control panel over here, our arrangement window over here, and our mixer down here with the master fader over here. But because this takes up so much room, a lot of times we close the mixer. Control M on the PC or Command M on the Mac, which looks like this. But then we don't have a nice big fader and we don't see our sends and our effects as clearly. So the one channel mixer or track inspector fixes that. So let's reopen the mixer and let's hide the master fader from the mixer by right clicking over here. Go to master track, show in mixer, and it goes away. Then we'll go down here to this little tab and drag the mixer into the middle here. See this gray box? Then we'll drag this to the left side and drop it. And that puts our mixer on the left side of our screen, obviously seeing too many channels. So we can go over here and drag this to the left so we just see one track right about there. And this needs to be perfect for this trick to work. Too far this way and it won't. Too far this way and it won't. So get it right there. Let go. Now if I select my kick, I'm seeing my kick track over here as far as the mixer. Along with seeing the full track control panel. But now if I select the snare, it changes to the snare. Or the overheads or the bass or the guitars. So we get a nice big fader each time for each one of our tracks. And we could also see any effects on the track. Compressor, my EQ, and my reverb, and my delay send. If you want to change how much we see over here, hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just grab right here, see the cursor changes, and we can see less of the fader and more of our plugins and our sends, or more of the fader and less of the other things. In fact, we could just see the fader if we want. But I prefer to see at least a few effects and a few sends. So we can click any track we want and just see the information for that track. If I want to ride my snare, select it and readjust the snare. Or my bass, or my guitars. And we can even do multiple tracks at once. We can't see them, but we could affect them. So I could select guitar one and guitar two. And now if I adjust this, it's affecting both guitars as a group, even though we're only seeing one track. Do the same with our drums, and we're adjusting the drums all together. We'll do it one track at a time, like this. So that's pretty much it. That's the Track Inspector, a one-channel mixer in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.